Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds of Fairy Lights and I'm here today to announce the Festival of Witches 2022. I am so excited for this event and I can't wait to give you the info and details. So, um, what is the Festival of Witches? You guys, it's just pure Halloween fun. <laughs> if you're with me and you love Halloween and you love diamond painting, this is a fun event for you guys to participate in. So, what is the Festival of Witches, like I said? Basically, I um, the requirement is that you complete a diamond painting of a witch. Now, there are so many amazing artists out there. So that is what we are looking for in this event. As you can see right here, I have a beautiful example. This is Lavender Witch by Cheriyuki, and this is from Diamond Shop. Now, um, this event is going to run from September 1st through October 31st. So you will have two months to complete your painting. You will need to have a completed painting for the grand prize. So I'm just putting that out there right away. So when picking your painting, that is something to think about. Now, this event is going to have um, several grand prizes, but we will also be having weekly giveaway prizes and stay tuned for more fun and exciting things um, during the event. Um, I'm still working out a lot of our sponsors and um, we'll have some awesome discount codes and things like that for you guys. Now, um, this painting will need to be at least 30 by 30 centimeters. Um, just, you know, <laughs> that's the minimum requirement. Now this requirement, um, the next one I'm going to tell you about is very important and is that is that your painting is going to need to be legally licensed, um, artwork. And so I am making all of the paintings this year that are going to be entered for the grand prize um, they need to be legally licensed artwork because I will be making a video at the end of this event to show all of the finished paintings in what I call the parade of witches. And because I will be featuring them on my channel, um, I am making the requirement be that they need to be legally licensed paintings. Now, um, what I will do is that um, I will have a Google exit form when you finished your painting and you will need to have submitted that to me and I will take that information and with your permission, I will make this, um, fest this parade of witches, which I will post on October 31st. Um, so you will have like, um, I'm just trying to explain that you will have two months to complete your painting. And it will need, the eligibility requirements will be that it needs to be at least 30 by 30 centimeters, that it needs to be legally licensed, and then it needs to have feature a witch. You need to have a witch in your painting. Um, so I know um, there was some confusion about this last year. No, you need to have an actual witch in your painting. So most are going to be portrait like this where you're gonna have a witch. Occasionally you can have um, a a painting that has just like a witch that's that's walking you know like there's there's a few of them I know I've seen them from like diamond art club like the pumpkin witch herder um, like that is an example of a painting that you can clearly see the witch in it but it's not necessarily a portrait painting so that is what you're going to need now I am looking for paintings that fit the Halloween witch aesthetic um, this isn't necessarily um, a, a witch that is from um, like other other lore and things like that like this is specifically like Halloween aesthetic witches which you're typically going to see witch hats you're going to see potions and cauldrons and black cats and spell books and all the fun things they're not required to be in every painting but I would say most paintings will show the subject with a witch hat on now um, you can also have you know there's there's cats that will be wearing a witch hat and then you can count that as your witch pumpkins jack-o-lanterns that have a witch hat on you can count that as your witch it's a pumpkin witch randall spangler's dragonlings they have several that they're wearing witch hats i can think of like double double um chocolate trouble as well as boo um there are several of his that show the witch hats on and you can definitely count those as your witch um but so that is the requirements of um, for your diamond painting. So um, there will be a thread in our Combined Drills and Chills Festival of Witches Facebook group, which you can ask specifically if your painting will count for this event, for the grand prizes. Um, 
we will have that open. It will be separate from the drills and chills um, <laughs> asking page, but um, we will have a specific thread for the festival of witches that you can ask if you're not sure. But one of the basic things I say is that if you took your painting and showed it to anyone random on the street, they would be able to identify it as a witch. <laughs> that is that is kind of where, where we're going with it. So um, that's like one of the first things they would say about the picture. So um, those are the basic requirements. Now this event is open to USA and international. I will have prizes that will be physical prizes that will be USA only, but the majority are going to be gift cards and other things that can be mailed internationally because I know my audience is quite international and I want to make sure that everybody can win prizes. Um, again, the way that you will be able to enter this is that you're going to need to post a start photo to Instagram or Facebook, um, Facebook in the actual drills and chills and festival of witches, Facebook group, not just on your regular feed, but in the group that is for this event, um, you will need to post a start photo. Um, but like I said, if you don't want to do it on Facebook, you can do it on Instagram. Or if you don't want to do either, you can always email me at myemeraldlife at gmail.com. But you will need to um, post a start photo of your painting without any drills placed on it. You can kit up before the event starts, but um, you need to have a blank canvas to start on September 1st. You need to have taken a picture before you start on it. You'll need to post that to social media or email me. And then um, you will just have weekly participations by, in watching my whip and chats on Wednesdays um, where I will be doing my giveaways, weekly giveaways. And then you will need to submit a Google exit form um, when you finished your painting to be entered for the grand prizes, one of which is a painting from Dye Moon Shop, a witch painting of your choice, which is really, really neat and exciting. But... Um, you will need to have submitted your form by October 31st, and I will be announcing the winner the next week. However, if you would like to be featured in the Parade of Witches, which I've mentioned before, is when I'm going to take all the completed paintings um, and make a, make a video of them showing you the different witch paintings. Um, you will need to have submitted your painting by the 27th of October. That way I can have a few days to put it together to have it up on Halloween, which um, if you'd like to see last year's video, I will definitely link it down below. Um, it was really neat. We had over 60 paintings and it's a really just fun way, a fun thing to watch on Halloween and see. Um, so we have some amazing sponsors. We have, um, Right now, I know we have Dime Moon Shop. They will have a coupon code for you guys. Now that's going to start and be effective on August 1st. So right now I have my monthly coupon codes, which I will put down below um, for that coupon code. Um, but I will definitely update this video as soon as the codes um, are open for the Festival of Witches on August 1st. They're going, they're going to um, give you a month in advance so that you can order your painting. Now Dime Moon Shop has fixed their shipping. They're not shipping from the manufacturer. And so you can actually get your paintings faster than their original eight week waiting period. Um, and so that's why we're going to be opening up their coupon code, um, the month of August so that you can hopefully have your painting in time for the September event. So, um, but I do have coupon codes right now. If you would like to look and purchase right now, I will put those down below. Um, there are just um, a lot of companies in different sizes and different um, styles at different price points that have beautiful paintings that are licensed artwork of witches. And I will be linking that Google Doc down below as well so that you can look and see where those approved um, diamond painting companies are. Now, again, I, pr I encourage you to go and check out our Combined Drills and Chills and Festival of Witches Facebook group. I can guarantee that if your painting passes um, the requirements for my event, you will be eligible for the Drills and Chills event. It's not necessarily the same way um, around that if your event calls for, for Drills and Chills, you're not necessarily going to qualify for the Festival of Witches. Um, so um, just, just know that that is um, the way that it's working. So there is actually, like I have mentioned, there's a post where you can ask if you're um, painting fits the drills and chills 
requirements or the Festival of Witches. Now, I hope that this video has been um, helpful and had given you information. If not, please let me know if I left something out. I will be watching to answer any questions, but I wanted to get the basic information out for you guys just so that um, I know lots of people have been asking and about the requirements of what they're going to need for their painting. So what you just need to remember is at least 30 by 30, legally licensed, and must have a witch in it. Um, and that the witch must be identifiable as a witch. And um, yeah, so it will need to be a completed painting. And so I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in another video. Bye.